Farmer Philip David, owner of Bocage Farms and Trades, believes that his idea of ecotourism and a botanical garden effect can put a new perspective on farming. David and his team have occupied the five-acre plot at Bocage Estate for the last two and a half years. But also to have a, a productive botanical garden where we'll be producing for markets, um, marketing board, local consumption, internal consumption, and for visitors coming here too. David believes that his idea cannot become a reality without the expert advice of technicians from the Ministry of Agriculture. Last Thursday, an eight-member team did a walkthrough of the farm at Bonaire in St. Mark to seek out the practicality of the idea. Chief Extension Officer Randolph Shez was a member of the team. I had put together a small team and we had a meeting with him, a face-to-face -face meeting, and he presented his plans to us. And his plans looks good, but um, what we are doing to here, here today, we are walking the, the flow, call it that way, where we are um, visiting his farm, and as we go along, he's telling us his plans, and then we are making our recommendations as we, as we go along. According to David, the plan is to have a totally organic farm with a variety of fruits. We are also in the process of developing new strains of existing plants. Um, for instance, we have um, dragon fruits, we have sorrel, we have about four or five different types of mangoes, we have four different types of oranges, we have three different types of grapefruits, things like that. We also have grapes here, red and the green grapes. We have all sorts, beige and cherries, etc., etc., etc. So we want our visitors to come here, sample the fruits, sample the products in the land, and then also sample the, the cooked version of these fruits, because we'll be cooking on site also, so they can actually literally choose their meals, choose their salads, things like that, pick it off the trees and bring it in and produce it from there, and they actually, so they're eating farm to table, basically. Acting Chief Land Use Officer Trevor Thompson offered his observations and recommendations going forward. The area was abandoned for a number of years, so um, the present uh, crops that are cultivated, uh, most of them are in very poor condition, especially the cocoa. Um, uh, very poor drainage, so we have a lot of um, water logging. Um, so that definitely needs to be rehabilitated. Now he has to begin to really have look at a, a, what we call an agricultural farm plan to see how he wants to recultivate um, the land so that it, it, it is done in a systematic manner. That um, it's not um, you know, just planting because you have the land, but if you want to cultivate it cocoa, you, you, we must see like an area for that. Um, if you want to do fruits, there should be an area for that, as well as bananas, etc. Of course, we, we will have some intercropping. But I think he's, he has a good vision for the, for the, for the, for the five acres. And I think um, uh, in, in five years' time, you come back here, it, be, it will be transformed. David is one of many farmers who receive technical advice and support from the Ministry of Agriculture.